Hey guys, Basic Six here. Back at you, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. We're on page three, and we're figuring out what's up with this camera, the kid, the the boy's camera. So let's let's see what the judge has to say. Could you please tell us about your camera and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um, welcome to the real world, kid. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened, yep. Hmm, anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. I had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh, I guess the steel salmon was moving a little strange. Moving strangely? Why couldn't you take a picture? My new camera has too many buttons, I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture, I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open time, so I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? Um, well, a person on the ground and a steel samurai. That's all? Yeah, I told you, I didn't take a picture. I would have once I got that lens open. You really not take a picture, not even once? Press him hard. Man, he definitely would have taken the picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody, listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Well, I gotta move my legs around. I'm starting to get. Uh, I, I started to get, uh, my legs starting to get numb. Bullseye. How did you know? After all your lies, Cody Hackers, it's one of my powers. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm a, a, I'm a, you know I'm a pro, right? Wow, this feels great. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. As you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Did you erase them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved still samurai victorious? So well, you know. Why why I keep a picture like that? She's becoming less and less cooperative. Yeah, why why is he even lying? What's the Why is the key even lying? why is he even lying to begin? I don't know, I was thought, uh, I don't know why he's even lying about this. What's there to lie about, I mean? Okay, we gotta press this again, I think. Pops? Yeah, call you Pops, spiky here, geezer. Geezer? I'm Mr. Edgeworth, and I guess I'm the bearded gentleman. That's what I'm about hate about gloves. You're also self-conscious. Okay, off of the kid gloves. Testify, witness, testify. Yipes. Yeah, you're right about me being self self-conscious. Um You mean by self-conscious, do you mean like you know what, I'm just gonna let it, I'm just, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna let it go. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Um, well, uh, I guess the Sil Samurai was moving, yeah, we've seen this already. Yeah, we got, I think we got to test. 
You erased them? Yeah. How would you erase a picture of your beloved still samurai? Pops! The still samurai? Um... Well, let's, let's present this. The album. Cody? What? Man, every time you say Cody, you fall in with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Oh, oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when it's still Samurai last to find a blow with Zam. I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai landing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would have just erased it. When you keep it for your album, it's the right way exactly is this album. It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Mr. Wright, have you an have your have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just to be his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Oh no, wait, no way! Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is! Mina, Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually... What, well, they actually was? Tell him, Phoenix, tell them what the truth is. No, I don't know what he's talking about. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the picture his photos he took? The photos were blurry. Well, he's using a digital camera. How is he erased them by mistake? The still samurai didn't win? Uh, I think he erased them by mistake. Cody wasn't used to using his new camera. He erased those photos he took by mistake. That's your answer. We're back where we started. You mean that wasn't it? Um, yeah. Sorry, Your Honor. Oh. Oh, you're penalizing me? Oh, crap. I still stand by the win. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Koi deleted those photos. The Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth, the bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No way, no. It's impossible. The Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone. In your honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. But Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, however Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Man, Phoenix is really pushing it here, jeez. How the heck does Phoenix come, come up with this stuff? And Cody, is this true? How the heck does he figure out that the Steel Samurai lost? I mean, where does he come up with these theories? Oh crap! 
Cody, that day you saw the steel samurai lose a fight, right? Wow, okay, okay. You're right. The steel samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Wow! Ah. Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The steel samurai was the murderer, not the victim. According to your witness's testimony, the steel samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Oh crap, I hope I don't get penalized for this. Steel Samurai was the victim. Uh, I guess the only explanation is the Steel Samurai was the victim. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order! Was still Samurai in the photo? You're saying the man in the costume was the victim? Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Because he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But wait! Had Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. Well, remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 o'clock p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? No. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the steel samurai costume. And where does... Where the heck does... Phoenix, this is one... This is... This is like a... Really, really creative theory. I don't know. I get it. I thought that, that the steel samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh, me what? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, photo on my digital camera. What? Show was quick. No way, man. Not if you're going to look at me like that. Now! Here, this is it. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at this photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. The problem is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your Honor? Can I see that photo once more, please? Certainly, I don't see why not. Here's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Find the inconsistency in the photo. Um, find an inconsistency, uh, it's a spear, right, because the spear doesn't have duct tape on it? Wasn't the spear broken? Probably, it's probably the spear, right? 
Right here. Yes, that's about the only thing. The steel sandline is inconsistent with something. Right? This is no time for daydreaming pointless pontification. Think about the client and us who are forced to listen to your rambling. Oh, like, oh, good, thank goodness he didn't deduct me. Alright, guys, I'll stop it right here. Next time we'll uh, continue with case three. Take care, everybody. I'll see you guys next time.